it's kind of sad just how much looks matter in like every dimension of life. Uh, so there's a study. I, I find this sad. I don't know if other people find it sad that you try to predict who rises at West Point, who's like who rises in the military, and you ha- they they've looked at all kinds of data. You know, what was their GPA? What's their family background? Uh, what were their athletic uh, accomplishments? And the number one predictor of success in the military is having a face that other people rank as dominant. So basically forget everything. If you just look like you should be dominant, you will rise higher in the military. And uh, this has been proven in politics that looking competent is one of the biggest predictors of a politician winning. You can predict 70% of Senate races just based on uh, which candidate looks more competent. Which again is sad. We'd like to think, you know, the winner is going to be the one with the, uh, you know, the best ideas or the smartest, the hardest working. It's frequently is someone who just looks the part. Uh, there are also studies. These are even more depressing. Looking baby faced is a massive predictor of being uh, uh, judged innocent in grand juries. So just like ah, that guy couldn't have killed those people. He look look at him. <laughs> Uh, he looks like a, a, a you know, cute. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a little depressing uh, how much looks matter for success.